Hey cuties, Peachy here. Welcome back to a new video. And in this video, boy, oh boy, I've been editing this video for the past hours, posting on Instagram, because today we got a ton of Monster High leaks. The Weirdcat twins have finally been revealed to Scaradise Island. We're finally going to talk about the new Heath doll. We have a new Pride Frankie doll, new, you know, pets packs with Cleo, Claudine, Draculaura, new car sets, new creepover party dolls. So much to to go over. Literally, let's begin. Let's get into it. So let's get into the first thing, which is the new creepover bedroom playset that, it, that includes new Draculaura and Claudine exclusive dolls. So this is, uh, the actual playset is not new. That is a just repackaging of the old playset that was usually, that was, you know, previously sold separately. Uh, this here now, the exclusive part comes of the two dolls that are included. Yes, these are Two new dolls, uh, designs for creepover party designs for Claudine and Draculaura. Basically, the series two dolls of the series, creep, you know, like slumber party dead tire dolls, right? Uh, and uh, they do look different from the series one versions. I prefer the series one dolls just because um, they look cuter. Um, I like the hairstyle for Claudine. It's like pigtails. So the dolls are exclusive. Yeah. And the playset is there. Nothing else is really new for this pack other than the dolls. So yeah, if you're a completionist and you, you want to get every single you know, creep over party doll, then um, looks like you're going to have to get this set, uh, you know, and it's, it's a, I mean, it is a pretty good set to get if you don't already have the play set, but if you do, you know, it kind of makes you think like, well, is it worth getting the play set again just to get two dolls? Uh, but yeah, I think the dolls are cute. Uh, I'm not sure how much it will cost, but I imagine, you know, two dolls, one doll is usually like, what, 15 bucks, two dolls, 30 bucks. The play set is like 30 bucks. So 60, 50, I want to Say around that price similar point. to this you know new creepover party set we're also getting a repackaged version of the ghoulmobile again with also two new exclusive dolls included and also of draculaura and claudine so that is kind of funny how both repackaged play sets come with both the same characters and they're both just wearing kind of like minimalistic designs and their new outfits but they're really not like any different like they don't look that different so kind of specific i i wish that they would have at least included like different characters but i guess they always rely on draculaura and then claudine because she's the main character so i guess they're always gonna pick those two as a safe uh you know risk-free way to guarantee sales i guess i don't know but the actual place that nothing else is new aside again for the actual dolls and apparently these you know packet repackaged um sets with ex exclusive dolls will be exclusive to certain stores in the u.s and they might not even be available internationally they might only be available in the u.s and uh, this schoolmobile might cost 50 apparently again for the with the dolls so uh but i'm not sure when it will release we're also getting a repackaged three pack here of the pre Previously individually sold budget dolls here again it's just a three pack so they will just cost apparently 50 for three dolls which makes sense uh, they come with the exact same amount of accessories uh, and uh, maybe the artwork is the new uh, versions by Darko Dark so that's different but really nothing else is different about the actual dolls it's just a really good way to get all three in one go if you haven't already gotten them uh, we yet. are getting a brand new cleo budget doll so that's really fun she's part of the same lineup here so kind of weird that they introduced a new cleo budget doll but they missed her chance by including her in this you know package and maybe she could have been like an exclusive deal or whatever uh, so they would have made more sales but anyways we're getting a new cleo budget doll which is good news if for cleo fans and also for laguna fans because if she sells well then perhaps they'll make one uh, a Laguna budget doll as well. Overall, I mean, the design is basically a uh, just minimalistic, more minimalistic version of her core look on the doll. So not really much of a difference, but I like the earrings and the shoes are definitely going to be a um, pro for many people who do not like the boots on the original core Speaking release. Speaking of Cleo, we're getting a Cleo here, also part of the Fabulous Pets line. That's all about including their, you know, respective pets with all the characters. So here, Cleo 
comes with Tut, her new G3 pet, but also Hisset, the original G1 pet. So really fun that Hisset is finally back and she is a new molded piece that can wrap around Cleo's arms. So it looks like she's kind of like using her as um, an accessory, almost like Britney Spears did with that snake. So that's a really fun little reference. And Cleo's design actually is really cute with the little crown, the shopping bags. She's just really amazing looking. And then of course, we also get this two pack of Claudine and Draculaura. Once again, a lot of Claudine and Draculaura dolls. I'm I, like, I get why, but like, I'm getting tired. Like, can we get more characters in here, please? Uh, but they also include their respective pets and really cute little accessories. Um, these packs will cost probably, I mean, a two pack will probably cost like almost 30 something. And then the Cleo pack will cost 20 something probably because it's just one doll. Uh, and they're both going to release sometime September, I think. Next, this is not new. Everyone's already seen the stock photos, but I never actually got to talk about the Neon Frights Series 3 Ultimate Secrets dolls. So here we go. I think overall, Torlai is definitely the best doll out of the series. No questions asked. She is just a stunning doll with the hair. The orange is just perfect for her. Uh, then in second place, I would put probably Gulia or Twyla. Gulia probably just because I like the green. I like the pigtails. I like the gaming accessories with her. And then Twyla, because we've already seen pictures of her in real life, um, and I don't, I don't really like the makeup as much. She just doesn't really give me uh, the same vibes as her stock photos, unfortunately. So, but she's still really pretty. And in my last, least two favorite places, I would put Dracula and Frankie, just because they definitely lack the kind of like special essence that Torlai has. Overall, I think it's a good series, but not stronger than Fair Descent or the first series. Will I buy them? I'm not sure. It really, like, I really wish that they would not include these big plastic coffins because they do take up a lot of uh, space, especially especially if you're getting, if you already have series one and series and two. And the price point and the fact that it's just a lot of money for one doll and basically like a second outfit, um, especially here in international prices. Like, it, it, they are expensive so will i get them not sure but i if i do get them i will get all of them just because i do like how if you line them up in the right order they do kind of form like a neon rainbow which i i am a sucker for anything like color monochromatic that's why obviously i love rainbow high <laughs> moving on we're going to talk about scared ice island the new tropical beach theme line that includes our first g3 heath doll but first up here's claudine she's wearing some pants a really nice bathing suit uh one piece. Um, I like her hairstyle. I like, the, I like the prints. I like the vibrant colors. I like the purple and neon green. They've always been like signature colors of, of, of Claudine. But um, yeah, I don't really love her. I think she's cute. I like the pants. She definitely does remind me of the, you know, uh, Skull Island Claudine that was exclusive to like a five pack. I got her. She's gorgeous. I uh, like the hair. The prints definitely remind me of her, especially the shoes very on point so i think she's really cute uh and definitely worth it for the price of 17.99 apparently and of course we have g3 heath's doll debut in this line just like with what they did with twyla they debuted her core doll in a non-core series the same thing is happening here with heath's doll the actual design is very accurate to his series uh screen look so it is it is a one-to-one -one match i do think he looks so cute like i think the clothing is very similar simple ge generic but it works again it's very accurate to what to what he wears in his series and i think my favorite part about him is definitely the uh hair sculpting you know with the flames it's like translucent the plastic it looks really fun and then his face up looks better than claude's so that alone is a plus point in my book you know he actually has some emotion in his eyes they look square uh they're not perfect but they're still better than claude's eyes so uh he looks great i think we really uh you know got pleasantly surprised by Heath's G3 doll debut. I'm definitely gonna get him, and I think he uh, he's definitely a, a worthy boy doll. Next, we have Frankie Stein, and they look so cute in this bucket hat, the overshirt, the shorts, uh, the bathing suit, the sh little you know shoes. Uh, really cute, and definitely one of their more. Um, less feminine looks which i am definitely happy to see because you know frankie here is non-binary in g3 and so far all of their outfits have been very feminine attributed so you know i do hope we get to see more variety in uh, future frankie g3 doll releases and this is definitely a very good place to begin with although the artwork on the packaging would 
you know suggest that their lipstick was going to be darker at one point but uh in the end they went with the pink instead which we always get we always get pink lipstick with frankie unfortunately so that's kind of boring but otherwise i think the bucket hat everything is so cute next we that. have dracula laura of course she's included here and she's really cute she has like a two-piece on with a little wrap skirt uh, around her waist the earrings the sunglasses some of these are probably reused pieces but the purse looks very cute this the little shoes i like the hairstyle and my favorite part about her definitely is the you know big hat the straw hat with the little cutouts of bats randomly so that that is definitely very cute although i don't know if that really provides good sun protection especially for a vampire but you know whatever it's cute and that's all that matters and of course we always get that one doll who's part of an exclusive playset and that is laguna here in this series she's part of the snack shack that's going to retail for around 30 something and again releasing sometime this fall all of these dolls by the way uh so laguna she has a two-piece on little top a skirt with a huge belt uh that kind of looks like fishnets you know like so really interesting uh the hairstyle is very simple the shoes are uh new molds or reused i'm not sure but they have the same design like with a school Ultimate secret series one that they kind of like wrap around but i do think they're new molds so i think her outfit is very cute but it, it's very simple it is very simple so i kind of would have expected a little bit more something uh, you know exciting from her she's an exclusive doll right so a little bit more would have been cool but she's she's fun she's cute for what next she is. up we have another new frankie stein doll but this one's especially special because they are known as pride frankie for obvious reasons now these pictures were found originally by at worms toy box on instagram apparently uh they found these by mistake because they were actually looking for the listing of holiday claudine but instead of those list uh, those pictures they got to see these pictures of a brand new Frankie Stein doll. Now, the actual title of this doll is Welcome Committee Frankie Stein, and they're gonna apparently retail for 30 bucks, and they're also gonna come out with a fashion pack alongside this doll when it comes out. Now, speaking of, this doll is supposed to come out sometime next year, spring 2024, but maybe it'll come out earlier, like around at the end of the summer because you know with dolls like this they usually come out earlier especially when there's already been stock images leaked and wouldn't you know it like i was complaining earlier about the lipstick here finally we have some black lipstick for frankie it's not pink it's black it looks amazing on them i'm so happy they're finally doing something different with the lipstick the makeup the hair cell is pretty basic but i do like the way it's done on the one parting the side parting with little like twist right that's so cute uh but specifically i also love the outfit it, it's again leaning more towards non-binary it's not specifically you know feminine uh i just love that they're it really seems that they're going to experiment more with frankie style which is important to showcase on the outside i think it's definitely very important so i'm happy that here it really does seem to be like yeah they're not just gonna do feminine specific clothing anymore so that's really fun the trousers uh you know being shorter on one leg with the prosthetic leg is so fun i love that obviously because to showcase the prosthetic leg i just it's such a cute little detail i like the overall rainbow uh gradient stitching on all of their pieces a purse as well that it just it definitely gives me pride vibes even if they aren't like pride like labeled as a pride doll and you know if they do release in spring obviously nowhere close to pride month but still like i feel like this is just such a pride doll like they just are and then of course what's he also having like a little rainbow bandana on like come on so adorable <laughs> and yes lastly let's talk about the brand new his fits three pack featuring the ur cat twins and a new torlai doll so this wow this pack is like these dolls probably are some of the best g3 monster hat dolls i've ever seen torlai looks amazing she looks stunning the hairstyle the color theming the the accessories the outfit the caged overskirt the belts like the train behind her the oversized boots like so many of the things i just listed could be statement pieces 
by themselves but here she's wearing all of them at once and it looks amazing so she is giving everything i love her so much she looks amazing um and then also of course we have the highlight of this pack which is the workout twins now i thought they were going to be sold separately like as a two pack but i guess not i guess they're going to make their debut as cordals and this three pack which is okay with me i guess you know it just it does mean that it's going to be a little bit more expensive it's supposed to be till at 75 us dollars so you know pretty expensive but you are getting three dolls who are very you know they do they do come with a lot and they of course come with uh accessories and um a lot of stuff like instruments so they do come with a lot so i yeah it might be justifiable but still expensive <laughs> but i guess at the same in the, in the same way that these cost 75 a mattel creations drop usually costs 75 as well so kind of a better deal here getting three dolls so <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't you think but um yeah persephone meality wow they both look stunning i love g1 wear cat twins but i do have to say that i prefer the designs here just because you can tell that they each have a specific personality and they really showcase that also with the expressions on their faces and i just love that obviously the hairstyles here are longer than they are in the actual series just like with torlai's hairstyle but i feel like that's come that's just that's just how it is sometimes uh and it actually looks really cute like i like i like the pigtails i like the long hair um i feel like it's just very, done very well uh i think my favorite is meality i just love the pink i love the pigtails i love the over knee boots um and then persephone just has a really cool cool shirt on shorts the boots as well or socks like the bangs they just they just both look so amazing and uh Again, I think my favorite thing about them is definitely their expressions. They just look so fun and expressive. I really hope they keep I really hope they keep doing this kind of stuff with future G3 releases because it definitely gives um you know, and adds more personally to dolls, which I think is always uh, a welcome thing with Monster High dolls. So overall, I think they are a win. They're probably some of the best redesigned characters from G3 so far. <laughs> you, well, that was a lot of Monster High news to go over. So many releases are happening, uh, mostly this year. And then, of course, also next year, a couple of things we mentioned. So yeah, it's... <sighs> my god like a lot to look forward to and we're also getting a ton of other new returning characters next year as you might have heard but i'll have to get into that in a different video but let me know what you think of all of these dolls down below which one's your favorite which one's what do you think of the work wear cat twins uh yeah let me know what you thought down below hope y'all enjoyed leave a like share comment subscribe hit the notification bell and become a member today so you don't miss out when i post more content like this coming your way daily and keeping you up to date with all the dolls you love stay safe be kind i hope to next time stay peachy kisses